Hello guys. Today I would like to show you an old Russian device that was designed for making a coffee or maybe a tea in the car from a 12 volt outlet. So as you can see it came in this nice pouch and it has quite interesting look. This is a very simple device that contains just basically a heating element. If you know the Russian, I'm going to show you the manual. You can pause and you can read that. There is a technical specification. Here you've got a diagram how it's made. Let's see. The more instruction. And the warranty card, I think, is from ninety ninety something. Maybe on the bottom we will find a date. So over here we've got a, a holder, we can put this inside of car and then we can have a very nice place to hang it. It definitely has to go inside, you just have to figure out how and which way. Not here. Maybe like that? No. Definitely not. Should go like that. Okay. That way. Okay. We nailed it. Okay, so we are just... You see how that can be stupid? Okay, so it's nice. It won't fall out because we've got a hole and it's going inside. So yes, very nice design, very clever. Maybe we will find a date over here. We got a Russian. Maybe that's an 88. I don't know. Seal, no one touch it. That's how it looks like. We've got a, a very nice cup and a spoon can make our coffee. The the plug I change it because the the old one was very unsafe even for the 12 volt DC. I was afraid that I'm going to burn. And I sell it down. We've got a nice holder for your head. And it's have like a futuristic look. I like it. And if we open we've got that device. On the bottom we've got our coil we've got our two contacts for the for the 12 volt and there will be a heating element and we've got something like that as you can see there is a hollow tube and I believe when it starts to boiling the steam is going over here and over here you put a, a coffee beans and I believe it go to the down like from the steam. I'm not sure, but that's how I think. So let's let's try to add a little of water. Okay, so I've got a little of water and let's turn the power supply on. And right now we are trying to boil our water. I'm going to put a temp probe to check. As you can see, we are very quickly rising. In the term of the speed, in general, there will be uh, very similar to the one you can grab from China because the bottleneck is a 
low voltage and the high current for the heating element. So they will have a similar time of heating up. We could speed up the process by closing a lid, but right now just just check how it goes. So we've got almost 60 degrees. And yes, that's true. I'm probably measuring the temp of the heating element, not the water. The water is probably colder. But not less, not much less. So the heating element is almost 70 Celsius. And I can start seeing a very small bubbles. Let me get a better lightning. I can definitely see small bubbles and it starts steaming it's probably not visible or maybe it's warm to, to touch and I can start hearing the boiling I have to keep away from the lens because it will be fog. So as you can see we've got almost 100 degrees. It's getting start hard to to grab. I'm going to close it properly. Let's see. Does the steam going up? You can see the boiling. It's more aggressive. It's definitely boiling. So it's doing the job. As you can see, I have to tell you that I own a couple of the Chinese, but this one looks much better. The feel, the feeling it's much better from the Russian one. And it looks like the steam is going from the from the hole. Try to open this carefully. So that's how it looks like. You cannot make you a close up because it's fogging. So yes, it's it's definitely working. It's definitely boiling the I cannot touch that. But let's keep
kill the power and let's make ourselves a small cup of coffee. Let's test the temp. So as you can see it's working and looking quite nice and interesting. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time and bye bye.